welcome back to Fanboy Fishing episode 6. So today we're here at the same creek we were at last time. I was going to go fish a new spot that I found last week, but unfortunately a farmer did not want me there and I got chased down by him in his truck. So I decided let's go to the same creek that we went to in the last episode except at a different spot. So we're much farther upstream here. Um, the creek is really dried up right now, unfortunately. Uh, but there's still some little stuff in here that I think is really pretty that I'd like to catch. There's uh, hognose suckers, there's some baby largemouth bass, there's even some baby smallmouth I think I've seen. We'll probably fish here and if I want to catch anything bigger then I'll probably just move downstream in a little bit. The water is not very deep here as you can see. It only goes about maybe three feet deep at the most, but I'm thinking there should still be some smaller fishes in here uh, that we should be able to catch. I'm just going to be using one of these little daredevil spoon lures. They're some of my favorite lures of all time, and I've been meaning to use them on a couple episodes. They've just been out of stock. I'm pretty excited to use it in this episode. Uh, I got a lot of comments from you guys saying that I've been holding my fishing pole wrong. And because uh, I've been holding it like this to cast and then changing it out with the other hand to reel it in. And the only reason I did that is just because it was what was most comfortable to me. But for this episode, I'm going to try switching it around like this and reeling in with my left hand. So it might be a little bit awkward to get used to. I think it should work out better. I'm going to move to a pool just a little bit up there. Um, most of these fish are just way too small to take my lure, even with it being this size. Uh, I don't have a problem with micro fishing. I do like micro fishing just as much as I do regular fishing. But uh, there are some fish that are so small, even they can't take even my smallest lures. So this is slightly deeper. And I was actually surprised to see a decent sized largemouth in here. I mean, he's not huge by any means, but he's at least five inches long or so. so I guess they're all kind of trapped in here because of the Dry, how dried up everything is. I'm going to see if I can get him. Oh, got one. I think it's a, a bass. Oh, it's a baby smallmouth. Wow, I have not caught a baby smallmouth, I don't think, ever. See, micro fishing can be just as fun as regular fishing. Because that's just as beautiful as any other smallmouth. I mean, look at them. I'm pretty excited. I've never caught a baby smallmouth like that. I've caught a lot of baby largemouths, but he's cool. See you later, buddy. If you guys see me casting my pole the wrong way, this way instead of that way, uh, please forgive me. I'm still used to doing it this way. I'm trying to get used to doing it this way. Oh, that one. The sunfish. Probably the biggest sunfish owner. I did not expect to catch a sunfish that big in such a tiny little pool like this. He's not a bad sized green sunfish considering I caught him in such a shallow pool. He's got a lot of color on him too. I think he's actually probably one of the prettier green sunfish I've caught. There's all types of little sunfishes and perches I catch all the time, but I don't know. Something about this one I just really like. See you later, buddy. These creeks take you by surprise. You don't really expect stuff that's that big to be in such tiny little puddles. I mean, that's basically what they are, is puddles. And yet I'm still catching stuff that's around that size. Whoa, he just came and took that. I think it's a sunfish. But yeah, another little sunfish. He's like a smaller version of the last one. They all kind of look similar. That's cool. See you later, buddy. So I need your guys' opinion. As of uploading this video, I have, I think it's 11.6 thousand subscribers. It's absolutely insane. And uh, I was going to do a 10,000 subscriber special for this video but I wasn't really sure what to do. So leave in the comments any suggestions that you guys have for what I should do for 10,000 subscribers. I don't want to do any kind of catch and cook because I don't like killing the fish, but uh, anything that you guys can think of that I'm capable of doing, I'll definitely try to look into it and see if we can do it for the next episode.
You know, sometimes I'll tell my mates, I'd be like, I want to go spooning. And they're like, I don't know, that kind of sounds gay. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I want to go fishing with spoon lures. That was a really dumb joke, I'm sorry. Just ignore me, I'm going to go back to fishing. You better not make me lose my daredevil. That's like my favorite lure of all time, and look what you're doing to me. So I just had to crawl all the way over to that wood pile right there to get my daredevil back. That was a pain in the ass. So I think it's about time that we move downstream. I want to catch some bigger stuff. I don't know if I already mentioned this already, but I don't have very much time here. There's a huge uh, wall cloud that's heading towards us full of thunderstorms. It's pretty nasty, and I know it might be entertaining for you guys to see me running from lightning bolts, but uh, I would rather not risk my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we're here a bit downstream. I think maybe a little over a quarter of a mile downstream from where we just were. I'm hoping this is going to work out better for us. I think there's bigger stuff in here, so... I got one. I didn't even see that I got him. It's a baby largemouth. I think this is probably the third one that we've caught in the entire series so far. They're all coming downstream uh, from spawning right now. You have all these little guys that come out of that. Pretty cool. See you later, buddy. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just going to cast it the upside down way. I know it's not the right way to do it, but it's just what's more, most comfortable to me. I think uh, off camera, maybe I'll go fishing by myself, not for an episode, and just experiment more with casting the right way. Just because this is what's easiest to me, and I just need to get used to doing it this way. So. That one. It's a sunfish. Looks pretty from here too. Oh wow. Yeah, this one's got a lot of bright orange on him. They must be spawning right now. Look at him guys. He is absolutely gorgeous. I guess it makes sense I'd catch something like this. One of the prettiest sunfishes I've ever caught was actually at this spot. But look at him. Look at all that orange and blue. Such a beautiful fish. Despite how many times I catch these guys, they never cease to amaze me. I love them. See you later, buddy. I'm not catching much else, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. The wind is starting to pick up and the clouds are rolling in, so I really need to get home before I get struck by lightning. Thank you guys for watching Femboy Fishing Episode 6. Since I uploaded my last video, my channel has gotten huge. I've just gotten a crazy huge amount of subscribers. I'm at over 10,000 now and just a crazy amount of views and comments. And I just can't express to you guys how happy I am and how grateful I am. And just thank you guys for everything. I never expected to get this much of a following and you guys mean the world to me. Be sure to leave in the comments any ideas you guys have for a 10,000 subscriber special. I was gonna do one this episode but I kind of decided that it'd probably just be better if I get a video out since I've been struggling to make these videos recently. So, but in the next episode, I'm planning on doing something. So if you have any comments or suggestions or any ideas for what you think I should do for the next episode, I'd love to hear them. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Oh man, I just saw a crayfish. Crayfish are just spicy lobsters. Well, I mean, what can I say?